Well, awesome stuff here. The lions are up and on the move. And it looks like they're heading back towards the set of smaller cubs, about six or seven of them. This lioness, I'm guessing, isn't mother of them because there's another two lioness to the left of the road who are heading off directly in that direction, whereas this one's not as interested in going to check in with the cubs. Just wondering where we should stop. This lioness is sadly creating a bit of a traffic jam for us. There you can see all the lights of the cubs. Let's stop here. Here they all come running. Yay! How cool is this? <laughs> awesome. Hello, Mom. Oh, epic. Let's try and count how many. How many were there? Two, four, six, seven. Well, I haven't spent quite a lot of time with these cubs. They're growing so, so quickly. Fascinating to see, actually. And I'm wondering even if I haven't got confused and if they aren't, if I haven't confused the cubs and their sizes. Difficult at night and difficult from the distance we're at, but certainly a beautiful scene we've just managed to share with you guys as those cubs came bounding in. And it'll be interesting to see what their mother's movements are from here. Are they just going to stop in and say hello quickly? Maybe let them nurse for a little bit? And then head off on the hunt. Only time will tell. Certainly very good prospects though. Four fairly hungry lioness with 13 cubs in total that need another meal. Beautiful. Oh, that one cub there looks like it. Was it going in for a suckle or just for some playtime? Oh, managed to tackle its mom down. I think obviously mom gave in. And yeah, it looks like it could well be nursing time. The fact that the mother has lay down. Oh, maybe not. Maybe she's just allowing the cubs to practice their hunting skills and grow in confidence. Maybe that's why she kind of played along with the tackle. Monique, you've just commented on those bright glowing eyes and we are using the infrared camera now. It is just about dark. I can see about 10-15 meters in front of the vehicle, just. So it's not fully dark yet, but with the regular camera or without being on infrared, we'd be battling to see them right now. Absolutely awesome. I love seeing cubs give their mothers a hard time and it looks like they're going to continue to do so they like a moving target as do all predators it kind of stimulates the attack even if it's a playful one and you can see that cubs not interested in just playing there we go mom's given in time for the cubs to suckle and you can see they look very very happy that she's given in and allowed them another little snack Hello, Riti, I think it is. You'd like to know how many cubs can a lioness have at once? On average, it's three or four cubs. I guess from time to time, five may be born, possibly even six. But very, very seldomly will you ever see a lioness with more than four cubs. Four cubs count kind of as the standard maximum or the average maximum that you would see. But with a lot of the predators, even leopard can give birth to three, but you very very seldom see three leopard cubs, more often two, sometimes only one. And I guess the same goes for cheetah. They usually give birth to more than leopard, sometimes four or five cubs, maybe even six. But again, it's just so difficult for them to raise them. Without a lot of luck and good experience as mothers, it can be a very, very daunting time four young cubs the first few months of their lives but as we were discussing earlier on on the safari these mothers have done an incredible job so far and the 13 cubs that we've seen since we've arrived here are still all intact growing quickly 
and on the route to become adults. Still a bit of a road ahead of them. But if their mothers continue to box clever, only move in a small area and not expose them to other lions, that will be their biggest threat, other prides of lion. And of course, if their fathers continue to do a good job making sure that there are no rogue males moving through this area, in the next year or so, we're going to have lots and lots of big lions in this pride. And let's hope that happens. <laughs> Mr. Kilt, you said you'd love to be able to hug all these cubs. And yes, so would I. But as a general rule, the less we put our hands on wild animals, the better. I'm a very, very firm believer in that. So it's something that we can dream about, imagine, wish for. But if the opportunity ever arises to actually hold a wild animal, even if they're domesticated, I certainly do not agree with it. Okay, has their short little time with the cubs come to an end? Are these lioness going to now move off looking for their next meal? I wonder. What are your plans, madam? I wonder where the other lioness has gone, Manu. Let's try and do a quick pan around and see, keep tabs of everyone. Go all the way to the right until we get to the road. I'm interested to know where that one that was on the road, I think that's her there. Okay, so she's still around. There is a fourth lioness within this pride. I'm not sure where she is at the moment. We left her behind us with the other sets of cubs. Okay, but all seems fairly calm and peaceful for now. I think, I'm guessing that hopefully they're going to take a short break with these cubs and then tuck them away and head off in search of their next meal. So while we wait for that to happen, we are going to be sending you back to Ali, who's prowling around Juma.